Good day, first world travellers, and welcome back to another episode of Vlogvember. Today I am at Borobudur Temple in Indonesia, the world's largest Buddhist temple. Yes, the world's largest. In this video, I'm going to give you some money saving tips, show you how to get here, and of course, have a look around. So, without further ado, let's go. So we're starting off today at my hostel, which is just over there, Happy Buddha Hostel in Jogjakarta. Now there are two temples in the Jogjakarta area, which are pretty much the most popular activities for travellers to do. There's Borobudur, which is the one to the west, and Prambanan, which is to the east. That will be in another video. I'm going to start off by telling you a few ways how to get there. Let's go. Okay, the first way to get to Borobudur is by coming to one of these places, one of the many tour agencies in Jogjakarta. The most popular way of getting to Borobudur is by doing the sunset tour, which obviously leaves very early, but as you can tell by the um, colour of the sky and also my hair, it has been raining non-stop for the last five days, so there is no point me doing that. Places like this do offer like combined tours, so you can do Prambanan and Borobudur at the same time. There's also trips to Mount Bromo in East Java, places like that but as always I'm doing it on the cheap so I'm going to tell you how I am going to get to Borobudur. Not with that guy. And also if you're simply looking for prices from this video check in the description below because I'm going to put all the details in there. How helpful. So to get there on the cheap, I've just ordered a Uber Gojek. Gojek is like motorbike basically. This costs you about 18,500 rupiah. If there's more of you and you want to get a car, this is probably about double that. So um, let's go. And this, by the way, goes to Jombor bus station in the north of Jogjakarta. That thing, by the way, is a Bechak. At least I think it's called that. It's basically a tri shore a three-wheeled thing. Another way of getting around Jogjakarta. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, cool, cool. I'm just going, going to Jumbo, um, Jumbo bus terminal. Okay, about half an hour later, I'm finally at the um, bus station in Jombor. Yes, I have helmet hair, which isn't good. Uh, this bus costs 25,000 rupiah and it takes about an hour and a half. I'm being shouted at, he wants me to get on the bus, so um, let's go. Okay, I'm off the bus now. It's starting to rain, awesome. Um, just a tip, when you get off the bus, you will of course get accosted by locals wanting to ride you to actually the entrance, but it's only like 200 meters walk or something. Just um, come at the bus station, walk left down the road and then turn right, you'll see a green sign. We're now at the entrance. There's a number of ways you can pay to get in. It is quite expensive, but just um, on what I mentioned about the tours before, the cost of actually getting into the temple area isn't included so we're gonna have a look now at the potential various options it's gonna be a bit of a minefield let's go so behind me over there that green sign local tickets are that way international tickets are that way so like most of these things it's cheaper for locals I'm not a local, so I've got to go to the expensive option. Super. Oh, combined. Excellent. That's what I want. Okay, so as you can see here, the cost of a single to get into Borobudur is over 300,000 rupiah. However, if you're going to Prambanan, you can get a combined ticket. This is 540,000 
rupiah. So I'm probably saving about 150,000 rupiah. I'm just doing maths quickly. What's my name? Carol Vorderman. Um, ladies are very lovely. Um, we're going to go in now. Remember to keep your ticket if um, you are going to Prambanan and you have to. This is only valid for two days basically, so I have to go to Prambanan tomorrow. So there, there is a useful tip for saving money. So I'm finally at the temple, hallelujah. Just a bit of information about it first of all, it's a 9th century Buddhist temple. It was restored in 1835 by Sir Thomas Raffles. You know that guy, he's the guy that founded British Singapore. Raffles Hotel, you know that. It's um, very large, so it's on basically nine levels. So there's six levels of square platform and there's three circular with a central dome on top. And all the way around it, it's got various statues of Buddha. That's pretty much all the information you need to know. Let's go and have a look around. So I'm on one of the lower levels now. Um, you'll notice that a lot of the Buddha statues haven't got heads. I'm trying to remember, back from Cambodia, it's a long time ago, apologies if I'm completely wrong, but were these stolen or something? I can't remember. Please put in the um, comments below if you remember. I will watch my Cambodia video later to try and remember. But yeah, not all of them are headless. Some of them do have heads. So I'm now up to the three circular platforms at the top. These things are called stupas. Apologies if I'm saying that wrong. Basically there is a Buddha in each of these and around the central dome behind me there's um, 72 Buddhas. I don't get these sort of things in England, so... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's our little trip to Borobudur Temple done and dusted. I hope you've enjoyed having a look around and hopefully this is something you might want to add to your Indonesia trip in future. Just a couple of bits before I go. So if you look at the temple from above, I'll show you a shot right now. It was built to symbolize the universe. So that's why you've got the square platforms and the circular platforms and the central dome in the middle. And the other thing I want to talk about, just in terms of a tourist or a traveler coming here, you've got to expect young children to come up to you, to ask you questions, to interview you maybe. A lot of them are learning English and it's great opportunity for you to help the locals out with their English and hopefully help them pass their exams, which I have done in this video. So on that note, if you've enjoyed having a look around Borobudur, hit that like button, leave a comment as well. Tell me about your trip. Did you do the sunrise trip? Tell me about that in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Up next, is a video from another temple to the east of Jogjakarta called Prambanan. Stay tuned and I'll catch you later. This is in central Java in Indonesia. I've already said that. This is in Jogjakarta. And to be honest with you, the most. Oh, fuck. Jogjakarta. And to be honest with you, the most. Oh, fucking hell. Why is it moving? I'm not going to bother with, with that because. Oh, fuck. Okay, so as you can see, it's. Ugh. So one, oh fuck. In this video, we are gonna talk about some, oh fuck. Today I'm, oh, why is the camera moving? To another episode, what is this guy doing? Oh, which is the oldest, not the oldest. So, borrow, oh fuck. So borrow, bum. <laughs> I belong to space without